Hi, I'm Candice, Global Trainer from TopCon Healthcare University. The CB5000 4-Opter head can be operated from the KB50S dial controller, enabling a comfortable working position while refracting. The KB50S dial controller consists of the keyboard area with a dial and a color touchscreen. The screen displays various forms of refraction data organized into different areas. Conveniently, most actions you can perform on the touchscreen can also be performed using the keyboard and vice versa. It all comes down to personal preference. But for now, let's focus on the screen. The touchscreen can be divided into three main areas. The data display area at the top, the visual acuity area in the middle, and the function button bar along the bottom. The title bar on the left shows the current test and whether you are in a pre-programmed refraction course or not. The title bar describes the data currently displayed and touching it allows different data sets to be selected from the drop-down menu. From here, autorefractor, lens meter, or other values can be loaded into the CV5000 4-opter head and viewed in the main data area of the screen. For most of the refraction, the title will display subjective. The current date and time are displayed on the right. Sphere, cylinder, axis, and other values currently loaded into the 4-opter head will be displayed in this main data area. Selecting any one of these values allows it to be modified using the dial or plus minus buttons on the keyboard. In addition, selecting the sphere value for one eye opens the aperture on the 4-opter head for that eye and occludes the other eye. Touching the S for sphere in the middle opens the apertures for both eyes. Touching and holding C changes the cylinder format between plus and minus cylinder. Imported or manually entered reference data are displayed on either side of the main data. The reference data you are most likely to use is the objective data measured by the autorefractor and the glasses data measured by the lens meter. Touching one or other of these reference data sets swaps them into the main data area, resulting in the reference data being loaded into the 4-opter head. Whatever is in the middle of the screen is what the patient is currently looking through the 4-opter. On the center left side of the screen is the mini help section. This provides brief guidance for the current test. More detailed help can be accessed through the question mark button. The section on the center right provides pictorial instructions to explain the function of the dial for the selected test. The PD or pupil distance value is displayed in the very center of the screen. Select this value and use the dial to change the PD value if needed. The aperture lens indicators for each eye are located on either side of the PD value. They display the status of each eye's aperture on the 4-opter head, such as whether that eye's aperture is open or occluded, and whether it currently contains an auxiliary lens or cross-cylinder lens. Selecting the aperture lens indicator is another way to occlude or open an eye aperture on the CV5000 optical head. The test chart area offers five pages of different test charts to choose from. The available charts will depend on the digital chart model you have connected to your CV5000. To the right is the chart display area, which shows the chart currently in use. The type and functionality of the auxiliary buttons on the right of the chart display will change automatically to match the test being performed. For example, when displaying a visual acuity chart, each of these arrows isolates a single row of letters for the patient. Selecting the same arrow again will unselect the row to reveal the entire chart. The chart display area also includes the visual acuity value next to each row. Once the lowest line that a patient can read has been identified, select the value next to the line to record the VA. These options change for other charts. For example, when checking the cylinder axis, the axis values are displayed in 45 degree increments. Selecting one of these values will move the axis to that degree. The function bar is at the very bottom of the screen. The functions display change according to the test being performed. However, these are the most commonly displayed buttons. Starting from the left is the step size adjustment, which alters the increments by which a particular value changes as the dial is turned. You can change the step size for sphere, cylinder power, cylinder axis, and prism. The second button is Occlude Fog. 
When selected, it allows the user to choose between a solid occluder, a range of predetermined fogging lenses, or manual fogging of the eye that is not under the test. The third button controls whether the reference data is displayed or not. The fourth button is the final memory button. Selecting this button at the end of the refraction saves the subjective refraction as the final result in the memory. Doing so allows adjustments to be made to the prescription without changing the final recorded subjective refraction results and makes it quick and easy to switch between the final refraction and the previous spectacles. This allows the patient to appreciate the benefit of the new refraction. The fifth button allows different auxiliary lenses to be selected and loaded into the foreafter head for use in different tests. The auxiliary lens information is updated here. And that's a general overview of the KB50S touchscreen. For more information on using your CV5000 digital foreafter system, please visit Topcon Healthcare University.